start in the oil industry was more like a student of petroleum engineering first, working on my bachelor's degree and also doing summer jobs and summer training programs in the oil fields. After that, I went to graduate school in Pennsylvania where I received my PhD in petroleum and natural gas engineering. And thereafter, I went to work for various companies in the areas of reservoir simulation consulting. And for the last 34 years, I've been working with Chevron in various locations around the world. I have had uh, several mentors in my career. They were uh, right from my young age when I was working in the company in Chevron. One of the mentors that I had was a production division manager when I worked in the Permian Basin in Midland, Texas. He helped me understand the practical aspects of petroleum engineering. I had a very theoretical and technical background. But, but when I worked with him under his guidance in the oil fields as the chief water flood engineer, I learned the practical aspects of various things. He made himself available to me to ask him questions, not only related to technical work, but regarding my interpersonal skills, regarding the soft, with soft skills, and regarding the teamwork skills. So he was very helpful to me. My work-life balance is the area that I would have really liked to improve. It has been mostly work and less personal life. So my advice to all the young professionals and to all the professionals to create that balance which really fits you and your family very well. If I were to do anything over in my career, that's the one thing I would like to create a little bit, little bit of more balance. Otherwise, I have been 99% satisfied with my professional career and everything that I have done. So that's the one advice I would give it to young professionals. The brightest career achievement for me has been mixing the technical strengths with the practical strengths that go in operating a field. I have had very strong technical background, but what I really enjoyed the most is when you take the technology, when you take your technical background and you make things happen in the field and make them practical. Those are the kind of things those have been the brightest achievements for me. The strengths and weaknesses of companies are many. I would give you the strengths of my company, Chevron. Chevron is a, is a very disciplined company. Chevron is a very big user of the technology in differentiating the performance. Chevron values the, what they call the Chevron way, where we use our ingenuity to solve business problems, where we care about the environment, where we focus on partnerships. Those are some of the strengths of my company. I would say one of the most or the key important things of my company in terms of strength is, is ingenuity, where you apply your experience where you apply your partnership skills in solving a real life business problem. And weaknesses, again, any company has weaknesses. I would say a large company like ours, you know, the decision making in a company like ours takes a longer time. I would say that would be the weakness, but sometimes that weakness is really not a weakness because you make your decision, you take time, but when you make your decision, it's very sound. And you can live with that decision for many years to come. The outlook for the future of the industry is very bright in my opinion. Today, we're producing between 80, 85 million barrels of oil per day. And the forecast is by the year 2030, the production is going to grow by 30 to 40 percent. The world energy demand 
is going to be increasing as mentioned by the IEA agency. So there is a tremendous demand for the young professionals. There is a tremendous demand for the professionals in our industry. And the outlook for this industry is very bright for the young professionals and the students coming into our business. So I would like to encourage the young professionals to become very active, take leadership role in our industry, and I would like to encourage the high school students and the incoming college students to become very active in the business of the petroleum industry because there is, this is a very, very important industry and in my opinion going to be there for the next 30, 40, 50 or even more years.